Okay, I will show you guys how to integrate x squared over 1 plus x squared. And I'll show you guys two ways to do it. First of all, you have to know that u sub is not going to work out nicely because if you let u equal to the denominator, the derivative of 1 plus x squared is just 2x dx. On the top, you have x squared, so they won't cancel nicely the way that you want it to be. But anyway, I will demonstrate tricks up for you guys first. Right here, as we can see, for the bottom, we have two terms. Namely, 1 plus x squared. And we know that 1 plus tangent squared will give us secant squared. So I will take x to the theta world, and I will pick tangent for it. So let me just put this down right here for you guys. Let x equal to tangent theta. And I just need a 1 because this is a 1, namely 1 squared. And then from here, we just differentiate both sides. dx will be the derivative of this, which is secant squared theta d theta. And now we are ready to go to the theta world. So we see that this right here is just the integral. On the top, we have x squared as well. So be sure you take this right here to the theta world as well. x is tangent theta, so the top will be tangent square theta and then on the bottom we have 1 plus this is again tangent square theta dx is this so don't forget about dx let's write that down which is secant square theta d theta and now everybody is in the theta world and as you can see as we discussed earlier 1 plus tangent square theta it's precisely secant squared theta. And this is really nice because secant squared theta in the denominator, and we have this. They cancel each other out. Very nice. So now we just have to integrate tangent squared theta. Well, do we recognize the derivative what will give you tangent squared? Not so much. But we do know that tangent squared theta is the same as secant squared theta minus 1. So let's write that as the integral of secant squared theta minus 1. Again, this right here is just by the identity. And the reason I want to do that is because when we integrate secant squared theta, we know that's just regular tangent theta. And then when we integrate minus 1 in the theta world, that's just minus theta. So we finished the integration step already. Now, we just have to go back to the x world. Well, as we can see, referring back to the original substitution, we know x is equal to tangent theta. So this right here is, of course, just x. And I also need to have theta by itself. Well, it's not that bad because I can just take the inverse on both sides. In another word, we know theta is equal to the inverse tangent of x. So I'll put this right here for that. So we have x minus inverse tangent of x. And then we're all done. Put plus c. That's all. Right? Cool. So it took us some time to do it. It's not that bad. Let's see. It took us about 3 minutes and 30 seconds. But let me show you guys another way. This way is going to be much more powerful. Let's take a look at the integral of x squared over 1 plus x squared again. As I discussed earlier, u sub is not going to work out nicely. Hmm, let's see what else can we do. Well, let me tell you guys. Sometimes, when you look at a, a really hard integral, you want to think about, and the phrase that you can use is that, wouldn't it be nice? You begin by asking yourself, wouldn't it be nice if you can have another integral that's easier to do? Would you do it? Yes, you would, of course. But if you take a look right here and think, wouldn't it be nice if I can do another integral? Well, which one would be easier? On the bottom, we have 1 plus x squared. On the top, we only have x squared. Wouldn't it be nice if the top happens to be 1 plus x squared as well? Yeah, this, this is just 1. This is really nice, isn't it? But however, if you just put a 1 plus right here, you change the whole thing. That's no good. However, when you add 1, just make sure that you subtract 1 after that, then it's okay. You didn't change anything. <laughs> you can pretend that you didn't do anything. <laughs> so now, let's see. We can pair things up. Look at the integral of this guy, which is 1 
plus x squared over this denominator. This is just 1. This is so nice. And then I'll bring down the minus, the 1, over the denominator, 1 plus x squared. And let's close that. And again, this right here is just integral, and some people will let me to put parentheses. Doesn't matter, in my opinion. But anyway, this right here is just 1, the one that we like. Minus 1 over 1 plus x squared dx. What's the integral of 1 in the x world? Yes, it's just x. Minus, what's the integral of 1 over 1 plus x squared? If you would like, you can do tricks up, but I recognize that the derivative of inverse tangent will give us this. So the answer is just inverse tangent of x. And then we are done. This is so much easier, isn't it? But of course, this right here takes some thoughts. This right here, of course, works, but it takes some time. In fact, this is one of my favorite integrals because of this. I can demonstrate, wouldn't it be nice? Right? That's one of the most powerful strategy. And also, I have the best comment that I received two years ago on YouTube. So take a look right here. Thank you guys so much. If you guys have any questions, leave a comment down below and let me know. And if you guys like my videos, please share them with your classmates, with your teachers, with your students. That would be great. Thank you guys so much. And be sure to subscribe. Anyway. That's it.